everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hannah and we're just gonna be a bit more PG today. Still gonna be talking about relationships, but it's Valentine's Day soon and maybe you need some ideas, maybe you hate it, and so these are just gonna be slightly alternative ideas for how to spend your Valentine's Day and maybe we can all get through the weekend and the day and, and everything um, with our heads <laughs> held high um, and our hearts intact. That would be great. So I've come up with a list of alternative things that you can do on Valentine's Day that isn't like a date date, like traditional Valentine's activities. And you can do these no matter what your relationship status is. So all of these activities, actually I've not double checked, so most of these activities, maybe all of them, can either be done by yourself with one other person, whoever that other person is, or with a group of mates. So we've got lots of options here, lots of different ways that you can spend your Valentine's Day, and I hope that this inspires you. I know that Valentine's Day can cause a lot of stress for some people, either because you are in a relationship or you're just dating someone and you're just like, do we celebrate it? Do we not? What is the etiquette here? Or you know that your partner is someone that um, holds Valentine's Day um, in like high regard and it's important to them and so that might add some pressure on figuring out what to do, what to buy them, what to say, I don't know. Um, but maybe we can all agree that things have gone too far and we just need to chill out. And also if you're single, it might be a really tough time, especially like, you know, if you are in an unrequited love situation, that might be especially hard. That's no fun for anyone, is it? So a lot of people have negative feelings towards Valentine's Day and that is totally understandable. I think I have like neutral feelings towards it. Most of my Valentine's days with Dan have been spent just as a normal day and then just being like, oh, happy Valentine's Day. I think one of them, I think our first Valentine's Day together, I was visiting him where he used to live and we went out for dinner. But we would have done that no matter what day it was because it was like special for me to go visit him instead of the other way around. But here is my list. I have eight ideas for you and hopefully you find something fun to do on the day, no matter what it is. So, number one, do what I'm doing. <laughs> this <laughs> thing that I'm doing, actually um, we're doing it on the Saturday. So Saturday the 15th, but to me it's still very Valentine's Day in spirit. And by we, I do not mean me and Dan, I mean me and my friend Lena. We are doing something that we've been meaning to do forever, which is do a movie marathon of the before trilogy. Now, what is this trilogy? You might be asking. It is the three films, uh, Before Sunrise, Before Sunset, and Before Midnight. Lena and I are obsessed with these <laughs> movies. I don't know about her, but I've only ever seen each one once, and I am ready to, like, marathon it and like do it. The general premise is that each film is set like nine-ish years apart and it's all filmed with the same actors and it's the same characters so you like follow their journey over the course of like 18 years. The first film, these two strangers meet, they have like one night in Vienna together and they talk about love and relationships and philosophize about it all and then they part ways. And then the second movie, is them reuniting and doing the same thing, talking about love and all of that stuff. And then the third film, uh, spoilers, uh, they are in a relationship and they have kids and it's them like basically having an argument for the entire film. Each film is just pure dialogue. It's just two people talking about love and relationships. And it's amazing, uh, would recommend. That's what Lena and I will be doing. Um, on Saturday the 15th. Number two, this is more for actual Valentine's Day. Just do what you'd normally do that day. Just pretend, well don't just pretend, like because it actually is. Just act like it is what it is, which is just any other day. So this year, Valentine's Day is on a Friday. So maybe you get up, you go to work, you go to the pub after work or uni, whatever it is you do. And then you come home, you get Chinese takeaway, you watch a movie, you go to bed. Wham bam, thank you ma'am there's your day. You're welcome. That is probably actually quite similar to what I will do on actual Valentine's Day. Number three, we're getting into more activity-based things now. Karaoke with friends. Karaoke is just always up there for me. I love it so much. But 
I've added a twist to this one. It's karaoke, but the challenge is you can't sing any songs about love. I think it would be harder than you think it is. I'm actually tempted to maybe try and do this myself. Also, you do not have to necessarily spend money or leave your home to do karaoke. Oh no. Dan and I do this quite a lot and we've done it with friends as well, where we just play karaoke YouTube videos on our TV and we're just like dancing and singing around the living room. That's all you need. <laughs> all you need is an internet connection and YouTube. You don't need microphones, don't need anything like that. You just like search in YouTube, da -da -da -da, song, karaoke. And there is your entire night of fun sorted out for you. Number four, do the one thing that you've always said you want to do. So basically just like using a Valentine's Day as an excuse to do something that you really want to do and just keep putting off. I think Valentine's Day can potentially be a really great excuse to do that. As long as it's not like mega busy and crowded, the thing that you wanna do. So this might be trying out a new restaurant, although I wouldn't recommend doing restaurants on Valentine's Day, but maybe over the weekend, a museum, a particular event or activity. So I have a list on my phone, which is like date ideas with Dan. And <laughs> anytime I come up with something like, oh, that'd be really cool, or, even if it's not like a date idea with Dan, it's just like, oh, this is a cool thing that's happening in London at the moment. I really wanna to go to that exhibition or I really wanna see this thing. I just like add it in my phone. And then when I have a spare weekend, I'm like, I wanna go do this thing. So this is what is currently on my list. Some of these are specific to Dan as well, because I'm like, oh, he would enjoy that. A uh, Fuller's Bury tour. We both like beer. Um, the Imperial War Museum. I've been to the Imperial War Museum in Manchester many times, but I've never been to the one in London. The London Transport Museum currently has an exhibition called Hidden London, which is all about like the mysteries and the intrigue of the London underground. And that sounds great. An art night. I did like a gifted evening with art night as, as part of this thing. Um, and you get to do some painting and they gave me a voucher for another one. So I'm like, oh, I wanna go and do another art night and do some painting. A cooking class. Who knows what that will be? Oh, and there's an exhibition at the Welcome Collection at the moment called Play, all about playing. And I wanna go to that. I don't know when it ends. Oh, I don't wanna miss it. See, this is the thing. I just keep creating this list and I'm like, I wanna go to all of these things. So yeah, maybe you have a similar list that's not a physical list and is maybe just in your head, but do one of those things that you have always wanted to do. And again, remember, you can do these on your own with one other person or the group of people. And maybe you take inspiration from my list. Number five, do nothing. I mean, this is kind of similar to the like, just spend it as you normally would. However, if you actually do want to celebrate Valentine's Day, like in a traditional sense, maybe you don't do anything on Valentine's Day and wait until afterwards, discounted flowers, discounted chocolate. The restaurants are much emptier. There you go. Number six, do something non-fancy like just complete other end of like what you think of like a romantic fancy Valentine's date and just kind of go to the other extreme. So this might be you go to McDonald's together or you go to Ikea together <laughs> or even better, you go to Ikea, buy the frozen meatballs from the freezer kitchen section and then bring them home and cook Ikea meatballs at home. Although why would you do that? I really want to be taken on a date to Ikea for lunch. <laughs> oh my God, now I'm hungry. Uh, number seven, go on a pub crawl. Pub crawls are a great way to get to know your local area. And if you don't drink, you, you don't have to drink. You can still go and experience the pubs if you like pubs and you know, get to know your way around. I love a good pub crawl. Dan and I don't have many pubs around near where we live. There's like two that we go to, but maybe if we like walked further or like went to the area next to us, then maybe we'll find some more pubs that we like. But yeah, that might be a fun activity that you do. Granted, depending on where you live, that might be a really expensive activity. And number eight, which is kind of similar to one of the ones before, like do something that you've always wanted to do, but this is like do an activity that is always fun. No matter what day you do it on, it is always fun, but just use Valentine's Day as an actual excuse to get your ass into gear and book the thing. So this might be a comedy night, the theater, a music gig, go see a film, like go to the movies. This stuff is available all of the time, but we don't always like take the opportunities that are there for us. And maybe we just need, need a little Valentine's Day to be like, oh, let's, 
go out for a comedy night and see like five different stand-up comics in one night and it will probably be terrible but there might be one good person there and it will be fun. So yeah those are some ideas from my brain to you on how to spend Valentine's Day if you are not interested in doing anything traditional or you just need something to do to forget <laughs> that it is Valentine's Day. I will probably be tweeting along on the 15th of the before trilogy marathon that we're doing so you are more than welcome to join in with that. The running time of all three films is only five hours so it is completely doable in one afternoon and Dan is not invited to the trilogy marathon. He will be very much in this office on his computer playing League whilst Lena and I watch all the movies. On actual Valentine's Day I imagine I will just be working and then Dan will come home and then we will eat dinner <laughs> together. Maybe we'll go to the pub. Who knows? Maybe we'll get takeaway. I don't know. Probably find out on the day. Dan also hates cards um, so we won't be doing cards. Maybe chocolate. We both like chocolate so that'd be nice. Um, maybe I'll bake brownies. See this is the thing. I like baking. Dan hates cakes but he likes brownies so the one thing that I can actually bake is brownies and he likes the brownies that I bake which is a Daniel J. Layton recipe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll just use Valentine's Day as an excuse to bake some more brownies. There we go. What a great time. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you liked it, if you got some ideas from it, and please let me know in the comments what your Valentine's Day plans are or if you have any other ideas for ways to spend the day slash weekend doing what you want to do and not feeling overwhelmed by like all of the messaging of love and happiness around you. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!